So now what we need to do is we need to define uh, what those frame sections are. So SAP needs to know the sizes. So we're going to define a beam and a column and the appropriate 0.35 and 0.5 modification factors. So we want to go here and we want to say add new property. And what we want to do is we want to do a concrete element. So we go to concrete and that gives us typical concrete cross sections. We just selected the rectangle and we can give it a name here. We can call it beam or column. Let's do the beam first. And then we have to tell it what material it is. And we assign the concrete material that we just defined previously. And now we have to give it the depth and width. So we're going to have a 30 inch depth and 24 inch width concrete column. And then if we don't set modifiers here, it's going to use the full elastic stiffness of the 30 by 24 uh, beam. So what we want to do is assign the 0.35 modifier here. That way it accounts for the fact that the beam is cracked and reduces the stiffness down to 35% of what it would be if the beam didn't crack at all. And I'm putting it here in both directions just to be safe so that we don't have to keep track of what axis 2 and axis 3 are. Okay, so we hit OK here and then um, just save this, make sure everything's okay. And then we can go along and, and do our column next. So let's go through and hit add new property again. And now let's do the column. And we'll, call, we'll use the same concrete material. Uh, we'll start off with the interior column, assign the concrete material that we defined previously. And the interior column was 34 by 30. And then we want to set the modifier here to be 0.5. And the reason we're using 0.5 for the columns instead of 0.35 is because there's axial load in the columns. And that causes there to be less cracking and causes more of the cross section to be effective. So now we'll just go a little quicker. Let's do the interior column or exterior column, I guess, at this point. Again, use the same concrete material. The exterior columns we decided are 30 by 30. And we're going to use the same column modifier of 0.5 for the flexural stiffness of the columns. OK, so now, once we finish this, um, then SAP will know what the dimensions are for the beams in both the interior and exterior columns and also know the modifiers that we want to use so that it can get the stiffnesses correct for all of these types of elements that we want to use. So we'll hit OK for these, um, save our entries, and then after this we have to move on and assign where these cross sections go in the frame. Because at this point we just assigned what the cross sections are and SAP doesn't know where they are in the frame.